Welcome to Walking with the Word, the Bible in 365. It is amazing that when there is a great victory, the people sing songs of the works of God. And that's what we are going to see in the life of Deborah and Barak. And it should be the same way in our lives. We should sing of the work of God. Of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your works. We thank you for your great works with the people in the scripture. And we thank you for your great works in our lives. Lord, we sing your praises all the day long. We love you, Lord Jesus. And we praise your name, Jesus. Amen. Today we are reading Judges 5 and 6 in Psalm 121. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinadab, on that day that the leaders took the lead in Israel, that the people offered themselves willingly, bless the Lord. Hear, O kings, give ear, O princes, to the Lord I will sing. I will make melody to the Lord, the God of Israel. Lord, when you went out from Seir and when you marched from the region of Edom, the earth trembled and the heavens dropped. Yes, the clouds dropped water. The mountains quaked before the Lord, even Sinai before the Lord, the God of Israel. In the days of Shagmar, the sun, of Anath in the days of Jael, the highways were abandoned and travelers kept to the byways. The villagers ceased in Israel. They ceased to be until I arose. I, Deborah, arose as a mother in Israel. When new gods were chosen, then war was in the gates. Was shield or spear to be seen among 40,000 in Israel? My heart goes out to the commanders of Israel who offered themselves willingly among the people bless the Lord. Tell of it, you who ride on white donkeys, you who sit on rich carpets, and you who walk by the way. To the sound of musicians at the watering places, there they repeat the righteous triumphs of the Lord, the righteous triumphs of his villagers in Israel. Then down to the gates march the people of the Lord. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake, break out in song. Arise, Barak, lead away your captives, O son of Abaniah. Then down marched the remnant of the noble. The people of the Lord marched down for me against the mighty. From Ephraim, their root, they marched down into the valley, following you, Benjamin, with your kinsmen. From Machur marched down the commanders, and from Zebulon, those who bear the lieutenant's staff. The princes of Issachar came down with Deborah, and Issachar faithful to Barak. Into the valleys they rushed at his heels among the clans of Reuben. There were great searchings of the heart. Why did you sit still among the sheepfolds to hear the whistling for the flocks among the clans of Reuben? There were great searchings of heart. Gilead stayed beyond the Jordan and Dan. Why did he stay with the ships? Asher sat still at the coast of the sea, staying by his landings. Zebulon is a people who risked their lives to the death. Naphtali too on the heights of the field. The kings came, they fought, then fought the kings of Canaan at Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. They got no spoils of silver. From heaven the stars fought. From their courses they fought against Sisera. The torrent Kishon swept them away. An ancient torrent, the torrent Kishon. March on my soul with might. Then loud beat the horse's hooves with the galloping, galloping of his steeds. Curse Miraz, says the angel of the Lord. Curse its inhabitants thoroughly because they did not come to the help of the Lord. To the help of the Lord against the mighty most blessed of women be Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite of tent-dwelling women. Most blessed. He asked for water and she gave him milk. She brought him curds in a noble's bowl. She sent her hand to the tent peg and her right hand to the workman's mallet. She struck Sisera. She cursed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. Between her feet he sank, he fell, he lay still. Between her feet he sank, he fell. Where he sank, there he fell dead. Out of the window she peered. The mother of Sisera wailed through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the hoofbeat of his chariots? Her wisest princesses answer. Indeed, she answers herself. Have they not found and divided the spoil? A womb or two for every man. Spoil of dyed materials for Sisera. Spoil of dyed materials embroidered. Two pieces of dyed work embroidered for the neck is spoil. So may all your enemies perish, O Lord, but your friends be like the sun as he rises in his might. 
and the land had rest for 40 years. Judges 6, the people of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord gave them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian overpowered Israel, and because of Midian, the people of Israel made for themselves the dens that are in the mountains and the caves and the strongholds. For whenever the Israelites planted crops, the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them. They would encamp against them and devour the produce of the land as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance in Israel and no sheep or ox or donkey for they would come up with their livestock and their tents they would come like locusts in number both they and their camels could not be counted so that they laid waste in the land as they came in and Israel was brought very low because of Midian. And the people of Israel cried out for help to the Lord. When the people of Israel cried out to the Lord on account of the Midianites, the Lord sent a prophet to the people of Israel. And he said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I led you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of slavery. And I delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land. And I said to you, I am the Lord your God. You shall not fear the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell, but you have not obeyed my voice. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abazarite, while his son Gideon was beating out the wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, O mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, Please, my Lord, if the the Lord is with us, then why has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and given us in to the hand of Midian. And the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you? And he said to him, Please, Lord, how can I save Israel? Behold, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, But I will be with you, and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. And he said to him, If now I have found favor in your eyes, then show me a sign that it is you who speak to me. Please do not depart from here until I come to you and bring out my present and set it before you. And he said, I will stay till you return. So Gideon went into the house and prepared a young goat and unleavened cakes from an ephah of flour. The meat he put in the basket and the broth he put in a pot. And he brought them to him under the terebinth and presented them. And the angel of God said to him, take the meat and the unleavened cakes and put them on this rock and pour the broth over them. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord reached out the tip of the staff that was in his hand and touched the meat and the unleavened cakes. And fire sprang up from the rock and consumed the meat and the unleavened cakes. And the angel of the Lord vanished from his sight. Then Gideon perceived that he was the angel of the Lord. And Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for now I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. But the Lord said to him, Peace be to you. Do not fear. You shall not die. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, The Lord is Peace. To this day, it still stands in Ophrah, which belongs to the Abizarites. That night, the Lord said to him, Take your father's bull and the second bull, seven years old, and pull down the altar of Baal that your father has and cut down the Asherah that is beside it and build an altar to the Lord your God on the top of the stronghold here with stones laid in due order. Then take the second bull and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood on the Asherah that you shall cut down. So Gideon took 10 men of his servants and did as the Lord had told him. But because he was too afraid of his family and the men of the town to do it by day. He did it by night. When the men of the town rose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was broken down and the Asherah beside it was cut down. And the second bull was offered on an altar that had been built. And they said to one another, who has done this thing? After they had searched and inquired, they said, 
Gideon, the son of Joash, has done this thing. Then the men of the town said to Joash, Bring out your son, that he may die, for he has broken down the altar of Baal and cut down the Asherah beside it. But Joash said to all who stood against him, Will you contend for Baal, or will you save him? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by morning. If he has a god, then let him contend for himself, because his altar has been broken down. Therefore, on that day, Gideon was called Jerubabel. That is to say, let Baal contend against him because he has broken down his altar. Now all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east came together and they crossed the Jordan and encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the spirit of the Lord clothed Gideon and he sounded the trumpet and the Abarazites were called out to follow him. And he sent messengers throughout all Manasseh and they too were called out to follow him. And he sent messengers to Asher, Zebulon, and Naphtali, and they went up to meet him. Then Gideon said to God, If you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said, behold, I am laying a fleece in the wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on the ground all around, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. When he rose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, let not your anger burn against me. Let me speak just once more. Please let me test just once more with the fleece. Please let it be dry on the fleece only and on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night and it was dry on the fleece only and on all the ground there was dew. Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time and forevermore.